Tsunaga with some curious comments this week regarding Abby Wambach in an interview with the New York Times. She said, quote, if I stayed, you, being Abby, would be a sub, the best sub ever, but a sub. There was no question about that in my mind. Also had some interesting comments about Carly Lloyd as well. Ariana Hinks, Alexi Lawless, Eric Winalda, Rob Stone back here with you. Eric, what do you make of those comments from the former U.S. skipper? I think it's great. Way to put your foot in your mouth. I, I, I think this is a, a scenario where um, Pia, and it's a little out of character, I would say. We, we're not usually seeing her say things like this, but she's in a spot where she's been asked a question and she took a little bit too far. In regard to Carly Lloyd, I, I think she will uh, save it for the field. She's not even talking to her fiance or her family right now. She is in the bubble and she's in beast mode. I wouldn't want to make her mad because she will show up and there will be a response if she scores. Definitely will be a response. I'm really waiting for that. Looking forward that Carly Lloyd scores. It's really interesting. I mean, firing up the flame a little bit more. Sweden is already on pressure. Right. They must win this game. Otherwise, they're in big trouble in this group. And before the first round was played, I actually thought that Sweden was the toughest game to play for the years. Right. I'm not that sure anymore. Watch out for Nigeria in the last group match. A couple of things. Uh, one thing you do not do is rile up a Jersey girl, all right? And you better not rile up a Jersey girl who is also a Rutgers alum. Now, she is going to be riled up. I can't wait to see it. And what this says to me is Pia Sunhage is going all in. Sweden did not play well that first game. She is using this to motivate her own team with the recognition that they have to play well. And if Sweden goes for, uh, far in this tournament, they will look back at this game against the U.S. and the performance, I think, and say that was pivotal. And maybe this type of psychological warfare uh, will help turn this Sweden team into a much better team because they're going to have to be in order to beat the U.S. A little bit of tactics, too. And, you know, we, we saw what they did against Nigeria with putting everybody in front of the opposition's net on corner kicks. That's a tactical warfare that might work on Hope Solo. She had words for her. Expect that as well. They got two goals out of it against Nigeria. They're going to put everything in front of Hope, put the pressure on, and try to get a goal that way.